Hey guys, Brent here. No, but, but today, I wanted to show you how I did it, um, how to remove the supports, and how to print anything that's too big for your printer, seemingly. Uh, thanks to Broken Nerd 83, uh, we have the file for uh, this helmet. So I just wanted to share how to print it on the Ender 3. So you're going to extract the file, download all files, extract it to a folder, then from that folder, bring the file called Hel Helmet V onto the printing surface. Then, this is way too big for this printer, so we're going to go to Settings, Printer, Manage Printers, and we see our printer there. If you don't have it, you're going to have to add it and then search through the list. Uh, machine Settings, and then you're going to want to change these to 235 so you can get the maximum size possible. They're set to 220 because um, the clips get in the way uh, past 220, but we're going to print it so the clips uh, won't be in the way of the helmet. Um, so another thing you could do to make the size a little bigger, see this grayed out area here. Um, we're going to have to go to skirt. Just turn that off. That'll get rid of that. Okay, so now we have a much bigger surface to play with. So now you just want to play around with rotating it. Um, I think the biggest I got it was to 91%. I worked with it for a while. Uh, but I lost the file, so I can't show you exactly what I did. Um, but I can try and recreate it. So I got to 91. I might not even be able to go higher now. It looks like a little bigger. Um, so I'll go through this, and then I'll show you how to remove supports after I speed this up a little bit. So it's okay to have supports down here. If you see in my last video, uh, I had to pull these supports off. Um, but you just want as little as possible, and I think that's as good as we're going to get down there. Oh wow, that fit pretty easily. Let's try, try 94. Might as well. The bigger you get it, the more chance it has of fitting you. So, The higher chance, I should say. Okay. Let's try it. Ooh, let's go. Another thing you're going to want to do, uh, when you're rotating it, I would turn off snap rotation. So just, it's usually defaulted to on, I believe, so you're going to want to turn it off. And that gives you that full range of motion. Whereas snap would be like here, here, here. It's really annoying. Uh, but it works for normal prints, but this is not normal. So I'll just undo that. So, oh, looks like I'm cutting off a little bit there, so you can just bring it up a little bit. There. That's better. Okay, so once you got it all fit on there, as big as you can get it, I got it to 94. Comment if you can get any higher. Let's, let's have a little record, so you can get the highest to fit on 235 by 235. <laughs> All right, uh, so now you're not going to want to print it like that, obviously, because all of this right here would just fail. So you're going to want to add supports. You're going to go down to the support tab, generate support. I think I did around like 70 degrees. I didn't want too many supports like crazy because this is very hard to f block. I didn't do any supports down the middle. And it printed just fine. Um, so, to block just that middle part, you're going to go over here to uh, Support Blocker. Uh, and then you're going to click on the model. So I'm going to try and get it up here. Oh, okay. And can move it a little bit. To fill this thing in. You're really just going to want to have it go straight through there. That should work like that. 
if we get it big enough. Just move it to cover everything. A little more for. Okay. And then all you're going to do is change that Z. Turn off uniform scaling. Change this to go much bigger. Okay. Once you know it's going all the way down. All that support in that middle will be gone. And that's what we want because that will save so much time and uh, filament. And it, as you can see in the video, it's not necessary. So then let's slice that see what we get. Okay, three days, eight hours, 48 minutes. A little long here. I got mine to down to like two hours, 20 minutes. Two, er, two days, 20 hours. So let's see what we can change here. I think I... I definitely didn't do it at 60. If you're printing in PLA, you're allowed to change this. Anything else, I would say we'll stick with 60 millimeters per second. Um, also, you want to change your temperature based on what you're printing with, obviously. So PLA, around 200 is fine. ABS um, should be around 240. Just go with whatever it says on the box, whatever is recommended. Um, then I think I did infill 15, which there's not much to fill, so that shouldn't change that much, but um, I think that's it for all I changed. Yeah, I, I left it mostly standard, and it was a surprise to see how easily it printed with standard settings. Just change the speed a little bit and a little support. Okay, with just that little change, I got two days, 19 hours, and I think that's as good as we're going to get because it's a little bigger than my last print. Um, so, so, that's how you do it. Uh, I'll save this G-code file, um, and then put it in the comments. And also do the uh, Thingiverse if you, wanna, if you have a different printer or want to try it yourself. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Don't get Koronsky. That's why I'm doing this video, because I'm bored. <laughs> but uh, leave a like. Uh, it would help. Thanks.